पेपर फोर फोर वन इज द वेरियंट ईयर इज मई जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वी आर सॉल्विंग दिस पेपर टूडे क्वेश्चन वन ऑफ दिस पेपर इज ए विंच ऑपरेट्स बाय मींस ऑफ अ फोर्स अप्लाइड बाय अ रोप द विंच इज यूज्ड टू पुल अ लोड ऑफ मैस 50 केजी अप अ लाइन ऑफ ग्रेटेस्ट लोड ऑफ अ प्लेन इंक्लाइंड एट 60 डिग्री टू द हॉरिजॉन्टल द विंच पुल्स द लोड अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ 5 मीटर अप द प्लेन एट कांस्टेंट स्पीड there is a constant resistance to the motion of 100 newton find the work done by the winch so first of all hame dekhna hai ki ye inclined plane motion hai to hum ek inclined plane banayenge this is the inclined plane making an angle 60 degree to the horizontal load of mass mass of the load is 50 kg the winch pulls the load a distance of 5 meter up the plane at constant speed constant speed mean acceleration is कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड मीन एक्सप्रेशन जीरो लेट द लोड इज हेयर फिफ्टी के जी लोड द विंच पुल दिस लोड ऑफ मैथ फिफ्टी के जी ऑफ द लाइन ऑफ ग्रेटर स्लोप ऑफ प्लेन पुल द लोड एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ फाइव मीटर ऑफ द प्लेन लेट द फाइव मीटर This is five meter distance along the inclined plane. There is a constant resistance to the motion, hundred newton. Surface is rough, so uh, constant resistance force of hundred newton is there. Find the work done by the winch. So resistance force. Since the load moves upward, the direction of resistance downward along the plane F is equal to 100 newton. Uh, now we will uh, uh, solve it by work energy uh, relation. <coughs> This is very important formula for work energy relation, work energy method. Work done. I am writing in in a short form. W D mean work done by driving force is equal to work against friction plus change in mechanical energy. This is a very very important formula. Now we have to find the work done. wd we have to find this work against friction work against friction f into d f force of friction work done into multiplied by distance distance 5 meter plus change in mechanical energy मैकेनिकल एनर्जी मीन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी प्लस काइनेटिक एनर्जी तो वी विल फाइंड काइनेटिक एनर्जी एट दिस पॉइंट ए लेट दिस पॉइंट इज ए एंड दिस पॉइंट इज बी फर्स्ट वी फाइंड द मैकेनिकल एनर्जी एट पॉइंट ए मैकेनिकल एनर्जी विल बी सम ऑफ पोटेंशियल एनर्जी प्लस काइनेटिक एनर्जी so the potential energy is will be zero because no height
पोटेंशियल एनर्जी है जीरो प्लस काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज वन ओवर टू एम बी स्केयर बिकॉज स्पीड इज नॉट मैं राइट वन ओवर टू एम बी स्केयर नो वी फाइंड द मैकेनिकल एनर्जी एट पॉइंट बी मैकेनिकल एनर्जी एट पॉइंट बी बोली पोटेंशियल एनर्जी प्लस काइनेटिक एनर्जी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज एम जी एच एम इज फिफ्टी M is fifty m g h h. Abhi hum find karenge. H will be this height. This is the height of the load between these two points A and B. The height is this. This is the height. We have to find this m g h. Plus one over two m v square. Speed will be same because speed is constant. Speed at b and speed at a will be same. So, so we will write at a kinetic energy one over two m v square and at b is also one over two m v square kinetic energy. So uh, now we have to find uh, h. How we can find h? Look at this diagram. This is a triangle a b and this height. This makes an right angle triangle so so we can use ratio perpendicular over hypotenuse is equal to sin 60 degree from here h will be equal to 5 sin 60 degree after calculating we will get h is equal to 4.33 so now putting here mechanical energy will be Uh, at b mechanical energy will be 500 into h h is 4.33 plus kinetic energy will be 1 over 2 mv square now change in mechanical energy mean final kinetic energy minus uh, final mechanical energy minus initial mechanical energy after calculating uh, we get mechanical energy at b isko calculate karenge 500 ko 4.33 se multiply karke we will, we will get 2165 plus 1 over 2 mv square no change in mechanical energy final minus Initial final is two one six five plus one over two mv square final is uh, two one six five plus one over two mv square and initial mechanical energy at a is one over two mv square minus subtract करेंगे final minus initial mechanical energy minus one over two m V square. So this is cancel out because kinetic energy is same. So we get work done uh, by the winch will be after calculating we get two six six five or two uh, six seven zero correct two three significant figure. This is the answer. Now look at this question number two. Uh, two particles. Two particles A and B have masses m kg and zero point one kg respectively. Where M is greater than 0.1. Particle A का mass जो है वो m kg है, particle B का mass 0.1 kg है. So it is given, it is mentioned in the question that m particle A का mass जो है, that is greater than uh, of mass of particle B. 0.1 से greater है. 
the particles are attached to the ends of a light in extensible string the string passes over a fixed smooth pulley and the particles have verti vertically below it both particles are at a height of 0.9 meter above the horizontal ground it is clear from the diagram the system is released from rest this means that initial speed will be zero and while both particles are in motion the tension in the string that is given tension in the string because of these two particles 1.5 newton particle b does not reach the pulley find the value of m Uh, this question is from newton's laws of motion so uh, so first of all we will mention the forces on this system the weight of particle a vertically downward that is mg mg the weight of b is 0.1 g tension the attention is a force that the direction of the tension will be towards pulley tension in the string is same that is given 1.5 newton now we will make two equations for particle a and particle b we have to find the mass of the particle a for particle a equation of motion net force on particle a is since the particle a is a uh, heavier than particle b the net force will be mg minus t mg minus t is equal to ma and uh, for particle b equation of motion will be t because it moves upward t minus this is net force uh, we are using here the newton second law mo uh, motion t minus 0.1 g is equal to ma uh, no adding these two equations adding these two equations t is cancel out we get we are adding these two equations we get mg minus 0.1 g is equal to ma plus 0.1 a 0.1 plus m we are taking a as co common from here we can find a acceleration will be mg uh, mg means 10m minus 0.1 ko g se multiply karenge to ye hamare paas aayega minus 1 over 0.1 plus m this is a have actually we have to find m now putting this value let this equation number 1 this is equation number 2 जिनको हमने ऐड किया है नो पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ ए इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन फ्रॉम इक्वेशन नंबर वन एम जी वी विल पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ टी इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन एम जी मीन टेन एम Minus t and that is given 1.5 is equal to m a m that means as such a is just we have find in the above line m a 10 m minus 1 over m plus 0.1 so now from here we can find easily the value of m cross multiplying we get 10 m Minus 1.5 m plus 
जीरो पॉइंट वन इज इक्वल टू टेन एम स्केयर माइनस एम तो मल्टीप्लाइन टेन एम टेन एम स्केयर प्लस एम माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव एम इज इक्वल टू टेन एम माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव एम माइनस जीरो पॉइंट माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव ये मल्टीप्लाई किया हमने इज इक्वल टू टेन एम स्केयर राइट साइड पे टेन एम स्केयर माइनस एम दिस इज कैंसल आउट टेन एम स्केयर एंड टेन एम स्केयर तो फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एम जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एम इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव फ्रॉम हेयर एम इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री के जी दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एम नो नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द स्पीड एट विच ए रीच इज द ग्राउंड ए स्टार्ट टू मूव डाउनवर्ड वी हैव टू फाइंड फाइनल स्पीड एट विच विद विच दिस पार्टिकल ए रीच इज द ग्राउंड इनिशियली इनिशियल स्पीड विल बी जीरो बिकॉज रेस्ट से स्टार्ट किया है इनिशियल स्पीड विल बी जीरो वी हैव टू फाइनल फाइंड द फाइनल स्पीड एंड द डिस्टेंस इज गिवन दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन मीटर जीरो पॉइंट नाइन मीटर फ्रॉम द पार्टिकल टू Uh, the ground 0.9 meters and uh, we have to find uh, final speed so we need acceleration acceleration we can find acceleration acceleration look at this in let this equation is a from equation let this equation number 3 Let this equation number three from equation number three a will be. We can find the value of a putting the value of m. A will be ten. Uh, uh, m is zero point three minus one over zero point one plus zero point three. Uh, we get. The value of a will be five meter per second square. So, so a is five meter per second square. Now we will use this equation. V square minus u square is equal to a s. V square we have to find initial speed is zero, so this becomes two a s s is zero point nine. After calculating, we will get v is equal to three meter per second. This is the speed with which a particle reaches the ground. 